Okay, in this movie, we want to derive an equation for the gravity um, of a planet, and we actually want to uh, um, we want to derive the equation for the gravity of a planet only knowing two things. For instance, if I gave you um, the mass of a planet and I gave you the radius of the planet, I would like you to be able to figure out what the gravity is on the surface of that planet. Um, so the way we're going to derive this is we're going to use start with Newton's uh, universal law of gravitation, and we're going to take two objects. So we're going to take um, we'll take a planet. Here's the planet, and we'll take you on the planet. So if I drew you, you'd be really small down here. There you are on the planet. So I want to figure out what is the force between you and the planet. So this would be the force that you're pulling on the planet. It would also be the force that the planet is pulling on you. So if you think about the that force, the force that you're pulling on the planet, and the and the which is equal according to Newton's third law of the force that the uh, planet is pulling on you, what is that force? Well, you might realize that that force, that downward force that the Earth is pulling on you with, is equal to your weight. That force that the earth is pulling on you is your weight. Now that's also the force that you're pulling up on the earth. So whatever you weigh, that's how much you're pulling on the earth towards you. Now of course the mass is huge. It's a very, very massive. So it's not going to have, probably have a whole lot of acceleration towards you. Your mass is not that huge. So yes, there will be a lot of acceleration uh, towards from you towards the planet. And of course, we know what that acceleration is. That acceleration is what we call gravity on the on the planet that we're on. So if I take uh, Newton's uh, universal law of gravitation up here, and I think about the force that's going to exist between me and the planet, that force right here, this force right here, is actually my weight. And we know from Newton's second law that the way we can the equation we use for weight is mass times gravity. So this is my weight, so this is going to be my mass times gravity. So in for this equation I can put my mass, I'll call that mass of me, times gravity is going to be my weight, which is going to be the force that exists between me and the planet. And what's that going to equal? It's going to equal big G times the one of the masses, we'll call that mass of me, times the other mass, this would be a big mass, mass of the planet, divided by the distance between me and the planet, squared. Well, what is the distance between me and the planet? Well, it's between our centers of our objects, but you'll notice that the center of my object isn't very much distance. In fact, it, this is even a deceiving picture because if this was a planet, you wouldn't be able to even see me. I'd be a speck on here. So the distance between me and the center of the planet is actually just the radius of the planet. The distance between anything on the surface of the planet and the center would just be the radius of the planet. So I'm going to divide by the distance between me and the planet squared, and so that would be the radius of the planet squared. And so this is a pretty easy derivation because what happens? All you do is cancel out the mass of me. The mass of me doesn't matter. And this is important because we wouldn't want we wouldn't expect gravity on the planet to be affected by different ones of us that have different masses. So what we have for an equation is the gravity, the surface gravity on any planet equals big G times the mass of the planet divided by the radius of the planet squared. So this is a nice easy way to figure out the gravity the surface gravity on any planet if you happen to know its mass and know its radius. And we derived this from Newton's uh, universal law of gravitation. So what you could do to test this out is you could put in um, 6.67 e negative 11 for my g. I could take that I could take that times the mass of let's say the earth 6 e 24 kilograms. Now I'm kind of rounding off with sig figs here so it might not come out exactly as you'd expect. But I'm going to divide it by the radius of planet squared, which would be 6.37 
E6, that's the radius of the Earth in meters squared. And if I plug all of this in to the calculator, I will get the surface gravity on this particular planet, which happens to be Earth. So this would end up being, I think if you use these values and don't round off exactly the same, it would be like 9.86 or something. But anyway, it's really close to what we consider as gravity, 9.81. Uh, meters per second squared is the gravity on this planet Earth. And we can figure that out just by taking the mass of the Earth divided times g divided by the radius of the Earth uh, squared. So you can use this to figure out any the gravity on any uh, planet. So just a couple of questions to make sure we understand the relationships here of this gravity. What would happen to the acceleration of gravity for an object on a planet if you triple the planet's mass? What would happen if you tripled the planet's mass? So you're going to keep the volume the same, which means the radius of the planet is going to stay the same. So this is going to be a much denser planet. But what would happen if you increase the mass of the planet um, by 3? Well, if I put a 3 in here, in, into this, right in here, in front of the mass of the planet, you'll see that the gravity is going to be uh, 3 times as much also. Hopefully you can see that relationship. Here's another question. What would happen to the acceleration of gravity for an object on a planet if you triple the distance between the planet and the object? So I'm not going to change the mass this time, but I'm going to triple the distance between the mass and the object, which means I'm going to make this planet less dense because I'm going to really change the volume so that the distance between the radius of the planet is, is three times as much, but the mass is going to stay the same. Well, this is an inverse square law. Gravity is proportional to 1 over distance squared, just like this uh, force was up here. So that means that if I'm going to have the, the distance be 3 times as much, it would be 1 over 3 squared, which would be 9. So my gravity is going to be 1 ninth of what it originally was if my radius of my planet is 3 times um, farther away. So hopefully you can see then how we took the Newton's universal law and uh, derived an equation to be able to figure out the surface gravity for any, uh, any planet if we know the mass of the planet and the radius of the planet also.